buns, hot buns. Hot cross buns, actually, and thank you very much. Yours truly was responsible, somewhat responsible, taking over for Alan for like maybe five seconds to create the crosses on the buns. We're here at Cobb's, the new location in the brewery district, which of course is about 118th, 104th Avenue. Super great uh, synergy of awesome uh, businesses, people. Oh, it's time. Oh, here they come, ladies. Da -da -da -da. Oh, look at these hot cross buns. Um, now, this is traditional that we've made on this side. And, Alan, this is something with a little bit more uh, oompa pa to it. What is yep. this? That's the cranberry orange. That's the one you line up earlier. Right, right. Uh, right. You cross. Across. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then, now, right now, we're going to um, bun wash them like what we did here in the traditional. We're going to the bun wash. Yeah. Kind of like a car wash, but for buns. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, this time around, we're going to bun wash them, not a car. Okay. And, <laughs> so. and what is in the bun wash? This is um, actually just, um, uh, mm, uh, it has a sugar in it. It has um, orange uh, flavoring, so it, you can um, see the gloss. It's, um, and is it, is, it, is this what gives it its kind of shine? Yeah. This is like shine without the, the bun wash, with the bun wash. Yeah. Yep. Ah. It's the polish, it's the oh. shine, it's the shoe shine. I love, and all you, you do is, I would love to. Polish? I'm gonna. Okay, the, okay, oh, I, I think I could probably, oh, okay. I think yeah. so, I mean, yeah. oh. Oh, that smells, smells wonderful. Orange. Yeah. Okay, and you just li literally like painting, like, yeah. like yeah, I'm Tom Finn and you're Huck no Huckleberry you, Finn you and Tom Sawyer. Thank you. And do I want to saturate it or just gently sort of brush yeah, it? Yeah, just gently sort of brushing it. Man, this really smells quite delicious. I have yeah, to say, that is my favorite hot cross buns, actually. Yeah. Now yeah. you guys have sort of departed from the the traditional raisin. In here, we've got cranberries and cranberries and orange. And, and we still have a tray of chocolate in the oven. The chocolate right chip. Yeah, uh, chocolate chocolate chip. chip. Now, chocolate rumor chip. has it that there are um, <clears throat> 100 chocolate chips per hot cross bun. Is that yes. correct? Yes, there's 100 uh, chocolate chips per hot cross buns in, um, in our chocolate chip hot cross buns. So um, do you need a hot cross bun chocolate chip counter? Because I would like to nominate mm. myself for that job. Probably. I just be, you know, <laughs> just quality and yeah. quantity control. Uh, how's this? How am I doing? Yeah, you're doing great. I mean, it's perfect. Oh, awesome. Uh, look at this. Now, somebody was saying, in fact, that gentleman across right, right next to, uh, to uh, Wayne right now, uh, this has, this, this kitchen, I'm just going to go over here for a second oh, as I yeah, leave you. Sure. This kitchen is quite large. Like, you, you were able to produce quite a bit of delicious baking, I'm guessing. Yes, we produce probably 120 different items every day. Wow. So what we're doing is, is a lot less chaotic than it is in the morning for these guys because they've got a variety of products in there proofing, a variety of profit products here proofing. Our sales staff is decorating. So in the morning, it's like a little beehive here. It is a little beehive. We're in the calm before the storm, which is, of course, 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to take a quick break here on DT. Stick with us. More coming back. Uh, we're going to pop these bad boys open and butter and slather them. At least I'm hoping that's what's yeah, going to happen. That's what's ready. Woohoo! We'll be back after this. It's the Brits Easter Hall.